the coolest thing you know? Uh, transition glasses. Socks and sandals. Gravity. Purple hats. Geodesic domes. Yeah, man. Let's make one. Sure. It's geodesic dome time. The geodesic dome is pretty great. It doesn't need pillars or columns to hold up. And it gets stronger as it gets bigger. Which is why they use it for stadiums and such. The materials are newspaper, dowling or broom handle, tape, a marker pen, a stapler and some staples, and a measuring tape. Your first step is to roll the paper around the doweling diagonally. Take it off the dowel and then tape it. You need a total of 35 newspaper tubes measuring 71 centimeters and 30 tubes measuring 63. Get to work. Your second step is to assemble a crew of a few. You probably want at least five people for this. You're going to want to arrange 10 of your long tubes into a circle. Now lay alternating pairs of long and short tubes radiating from the circle. Now overlap the ends of the tubes and staple them together. Repeat this for the base of the dome. Your next step is to make triangles out of the pairs of tubes. You should alternate between small and big triangles. Then connect the triangles using a layer of small tubes across the top of your structure. Wherever four small tubes meet up, you should staple on another pointing straight up. Brace the smaller ones using larger ones. That would be one attached to each adjacent joint. Use the remaining larger ones to make a row across the top. This will be similar to the row of smaller ones you did in the middle of the dome. Finish the dome by using the last five small tubes. They come from the joints and meet at the middle. Your geodesic dome is now complete. You can use it as a clubhouse, a fort, or you can just gaze into its beautiful noise. This project was handcrafted by the YesMac project crew.